Andrew Michael Holness on Sunday, November 10, beat his contender Odd Lippitz Albert Shaw to retain his post as leader of the 70-year-old Jamaica Labour Party. From very early, delegates turned out at the National Arena in Kingston, eager to cast their ballots, and there was widespread support for both Shaw and Holness. I believe in Andrew. <laughs> With Andrew, we have no fear. Andrew is here. When Holness arrived on the grounds 30 minutes before the close of polls, his fans grew even more excited. However, the elections would not go as smoothly as planned. At one point, officials of the Electoral Office of Jamaica had to abandon their posts when laborites wearing Holness labeled t shirts overran the voting center. Seven busloads of people who are not delegates of this party. Mr. Horn is trying them up there and walk through the crowd, overran the whole place, went down to the area for registration, overran that area. The electoral supervisors had to leave and abandon their station and there was disruption for half an hour until we had to restore it and allow some more people to vote. Okay? What he has done is irresponsible and is outrageous and is unworthy of him as leader of the Jamaica Labour Party. That out of the way, Team Shaw was soon in celebration mode when Warren Newby brought news that they were in for the win. But that celebration would be short-lived as Holness was declared the winner by 692 votes. The winner of this election with 2,704 votes is Andrew Michael Wallace. Both Holness and Shaw later told Laborites that democracy was alive and well in the JLP with both men pledging to work together in the best interest of the party.